Last season we did Venetian plaster like this and it was a nightmare. And I swore I wouldn't do it again. But Sandra from Faux Like a Pro says she has an easier way and I'm gonna make you prove it. Chrissy, it's all in the product. This is the Faux Like a Pro polished plaster. All right, so I'm ready. Okay, here we go. So what we're gonna do is actually take the polished plaster, we're gonna actually just roll it on. The important element here is the roller. Now, this is actually a whiz roller, it's all the more. Yeah. This saves your ton of time because there's no sanding. And see how nice and smooth yeah. that goes on? And we're actually painting over an existing paint color here. So you see that color coming through a little bit. So you know, it's a dark color. So you're gonna have to put on a couple of coats. And notice I'm using two hands here. I'm putting some pressure on that roller. And then your corner is just gonna use a regular latex cutting brush. All right, we've already done our two coats of plaster on here. We're ready to start doing our cross hatch. This is a plastic float, and this is gonna act as our hawk. So we're gonna put our plaster right on here, mm -hmm. and we're gonna work with our two colors. These are spatula knives that we're working with. Rounded edges, really important, lightweight to apply your plaster. So you're actually gonna do this motion, what's called cross hatching, and I'm gonna fill in behind you. Yeah, that's, that's good. A little bit. Heavy or light or that, different? That, yeah, that's good. Put it on like that and you're gonna leave some space for me to fill in. Okay, now here I got the light color I'm gonna fill in. So I'm gonna kind of connect, almost like connecting the dots. I'm going over the blue slightly. And almost creating a third color that way. Nice technique, Chrissy. Look Thank at you. you. Okay, that's great. Thank you for noticing. <laughs> Well, Sandra and I have to do two coats of this crosshatch pattern, so we're going to finish that up, and when we come back, we're going to show you how to do the waxing and burnishing. This is going to be so easy. Now, so far, we've done a crosshatch pattern with the light color and the dark color two times, and now we're ready to do the wax. This is 100% acrylic wax infused with pure mica. It's like the glaze. It's like, you know, three to four parts wax to maybe one part of the metallic. So we are mixing the gold that we're going to use with yes. this clear flat. And we're going to just put it on and do the same cross hatch? Absolutely. You just basically do put it on on one angle and then go right back on the Ooh, other angle. Oh, yeah, that's And what it's cool. doing is it's accentuating all of the detail. So your color increases by 10%. It gets darker. We're adding reflective quality, plus we're protecting the wall. Okay, and you want to reduce those ridge marks, okay? And you don't want to overwork it. You just put it on once and move on. Notice the way I hold the knife. I have my thumb here and the four fingers. Mm -hmm. You push on that knife, okay? And basically, by pushing it, you're able to smear the wax on there, and then you remove it. So these are meant to bend, and that way you'll get a nice, smooth application or avoid ridge marks. There you go. And you work until there's nothing left on the knife before you actually pick up more. Okay, Sandra, so we let this dry for 24 hours. That's important. And we are ready to do burnishing. Now, you should know I am not a fan. Burnishing simply um, is simple. What we do is we take the center of the knife, lay it flat on the wall, okay, and just rub in circular motions. Once you get going, you'll feel that the knife is sliding. Do you feel that? Yeah. Once it starts to slide, then you can actually go on angles. The burnishing is going to add a real subtle effect. And you can see, see how this color is getting darker? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Now, this is so much easier. I can't, I don't understand why. I'm barely putting any pressure. Well, Sandra and I are just going to finish up this Venetian plaster wall. And you know what? I'm a believer because I haven't even broken a sweat and I'm still as fresh as a daisy. Mm -hmm.